Thanks for joining us again at Nomad Purdue. Today we're specifically going to look at the 135 amp hour prismatic. Uh, the profile of these is 738 long uh, by 350 high, and they're actually only 48 mil thick. So as you can see here, I'll just bring one of these out so you can look at the other end. So this end here is what's on over that side, and then you've got the two Andersons here in and out. They are bi-directional, and if you're going to look at a dual battery system for your vehicle, and you're just going to have red and black poles, and you're going to connect them to your own distribution unit board, that's fine. You might be connecting those to an inverter, um, and that's perfectly fine. But if you want the versatility of having a dual battery set up with 50 amp in charge rate, 50 amp out, which is quite significant, it'll run three or four fridges, no problems at all, out of the uh, 50 amp Anderson. I personally run 95 and a 52 at the same time. Works perfectly fine. I've got this charging at the moment directly off of Victron, uh, 15 amp. Uh, because these units must have regulated charge only. So we're not going to put things like a, a, a DC DCs inside the unit, the same as we would never put an inverter inside of a unit with a battery, because inverters also break down quite a lot, they create heat and you don't really want heat around the battery. So these guys here are not designed to go under the bonnet, they can probably handle it, but they're not designed for that. Because they're actually 48 mil thick, 738 long by 350 high, which is the profile, They'll fit in the back of ranges uh, quite neatly and tightly behind the seat. Uh, MUX, D-Maxes, uh, Rams, uh, a lot of those vehicles that we've done at the moment uh, with this profile. And it's 135 amp hour, 100% DOD, and it's prismatic with Bluetooth. Prismatic is the top of the range, and they handle corrugations in theory better than the other uh, live PA4. So again, we do have cylindrical as well. They work perfectly fine. And if you mount them correctly and you rubber, put rubber mounting and things like that, then you're not going to have a problem with any of the live PO4 typically. So they do have Bluetooth enablement. So if you're going to have, say, a, a LED display in the front of your vehicle that's called a battery monitor, then you don't really need that because you've got this on Bluetooth. It's a smart BMS, so it works on any of your Android, Apples, things like that. At the moment on this one here, just to give you an idea, I've actually got four batteries that are connected to this phone. I could have 20 or 30, which sometimes I do. Um, and then on the end of the actual units is a serial number, so you can actually check just by clicking on the serial number like this one here, and that's going to tell me this one here is 31.7% full, and it's now charging, and it's charging 6.3 amp, and it's got 42.7 AH left, and it's got 13.3 volt constant at the moment. So I can drill down different parameters and settings and all that, but you've got this on your phone, so you don't really need to have something in the, in the dash or wiring and up uh, as a fixture in the front of your vehicle. So having the Bluetooth just means you can put them away under the seat or behind the seat, just out of the way and out of mind. You do have two Andersons. You've got a red Anderson for input, green Anderson for your outputs, typical. However, they are bi-directional. So if you had this fully charged, you could actually use the two Andersons as an output, that's fine. 50 amp charge rate, 50 amp discharge rate. Do not exceed that and do not connect these directly to solar panels without a regulator. They must have regulated charge. Okay, and I repeat that because people still connect directly to a solar panel, don't really understand that there's no regulator between the solar panel, unless they check the back and it sees a controller there. Okay, it's not, uh, it's not regulated. So these guys here, like PO4 profile, 14.6, and they've also got a fast USB-C and two SIGID sockets on the other side. So you can shove them in against the corner and you've still got the Andersons on one side and the USB, or if you've got a little bit of gap, you can still use the, um, the SIGID plugs like so. And if you've got it into a, into a house uh, off-grid environment or you're free camping, at 18 kilograms at the outside, they're still actually easy enough to handle, but they're 135 amp hour power, which is quite significant. Um, and the DC-DC charge, you can choose up to 50 amp. Uh, I know people have their brands they like, that's fine. Uh, these are a Matson, the brand you would have seen them. They've got a solar input, they've got the DC from the vehicle input, They've also got a wire, if you've got a smart alternator, it goes back to that, and then you can charge it to your, uh, your Nomad Live PO4. And it's got a profile on here, that you simply set, once you've set it at uh, Live PO4, it remembers it, and then as soon as your car's on, it'll start charging, when it's off, it'll be off. And that's what it's got, a built-in VSR. It also has a solar input. You know, the 20 amp of these are about 250 bucks, and you've got a 40 amp one of these as well. Again, different brands, you'll see, they look very, very similar, they look the same, just branded. Um, ever, you know, you get red arcs and energies perfectly fine. Maximum 50 amp. At 50 amp, you don't need to go any higher, say 100 amp charge. At 50 amp hour, if you're running two or three fridges, you know, you're still going to be charging, say, 40 amp an hour. You drive for an hour, you pretty much cover yourself for the whole day or 24 hours. 
So these guys here have state of charge screens. This one has a different screen, but they're all, they're, they do exactly the same thing. They're all the units. They also have the instructions on the back. I will point this out because it's important to note you may lose the instructions. We've found historically that people lose the instructions to get and also borrow the units to people and people don't realise that you must have a regulated charge and they can damage the units. So again, Smart BMS on your phone takes you two minutes to download it and Google it, just uh, Smart BMS, um, and you'll be able to find that app very, very easily. And then if you have multiple batteries, you can just scroll through and uh, connect by the serial number. Uh, we do also have DC-DC from the vehicle. Uh, you would have seen these. So if you've got an Anderson plug in the back of your four-wheel drive and it already has a VSR and you've got a connection at the back on it's an Anderson, you can get these which are 20 amp and you simply plug and play. So you plug it in, it goes in 9 to 36 volt and it converts to 14.6 uh, which is the charge profile for these uh, Prismatic. So these guys here have an Anderson in, an Anderson out, rated 50 amp, they have a smart, sorry, they're fast USB-C. So they've got the USB on the side there, so I'm actually charging my uh, little cordless uh, drill there off the USB. Um, so you can charge the phone, that's a dual one that we've got here. We've got the USB-C connection there, and then two sticker plugs on the outside. So that's the 135 amp hour. Uh, again, very slim at 48 mil, you can see. 17 and a half, 18 kilograms, still you can handle it. Uh, it's not as easy to carry around as the V5 and the V6 that are coming there. Um, the cylindrical 55, 60 amp hours and 90s, these guys are 105, they're cylindrical. But the 135 has been very, very popular because you can put it in and out the way. Uh, you would have seen in my vehicle the back, that it's got a twin seat at the back uh, in an SUV. You can put it to the back of the seat, put a bracket there and then it's completely out the way, it takes no space at all, but you've got 135 amp hour of power. Kit it out with one of the DC DCs with solar input. The good thing about those is with the solar input, that if you've got the solar input, that you can always, which is this one here, is you might have, say 300 watts of solar panel uh, blanket, you just connect that to this. This will regulate it, and again, you don't have to worry about your Nomad or your battery because it's always going to get a regulated charge. The other thing I will make note of is you do not jump start from these packs. They're not designed for it. If you want to jump start, you always should get something specifically designed to jump start. You will damage batteries that are not designed for it, don't assume because of size it means you can discharge it at that rate to charge a vehicle, you can't do that. So again, nomadpdu.com.au if you've got any questions. We do have selected partners that do have these in stock. They've been very popular, but uh, again, if you want one of these and you're not sure where to get them, send us an email or contact at nomadpdu.com.au and we'll put you in touch with our partners um, who have these. They may have these, they'll have Red Arcs, they'll have whatever brand that they choose. That's something we don't get involved in. Uh, if you want a DC DC, that's pretty straightforward and you already have a VSI, you can get one of these kits from us, there's no problem at all. We do tens of 20 amps of these. Personally, I'm using a, a 20 in one of my vehicles and 10 in, in another one. On these, works fine. If I'm only running a 95 litre fridge, this will last you know, forever and a day. Um, at the moment, I've got this, like I said, connected up to the Victron uh, in my house. So if you come home from your camping and you pull this out, you can use it in your house to run your refresco. So solar pumps and things like that. I run the solar pumps for the water features and they do about 800 litres an hour each. I run two of them at the same time. Off these, it draws about two and a half amp. So you don't have to just use these in the vehicle and only use it a couple times a year. You can pull them out and use them for uh, all your off-greening or if you've bought property rurally and you want to run a lot of gear off it, then you certainly can. Keep your eye out uh, in the next couple of months as we bring in a, 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 an additional range of products, uh, some hybrid stuff as well. Uh, we'll go into that more in the next six, eight weeks as to what we're bringing out. But these guys here have been very, very popular and they'll do pretty much everything you need. If you're going to run things like travel buddy uh, ovens and stuff like that, make sure you cut the, um, the sticker plugs off and use Anderson connections, they're much better. You can run Y leads out of this, you can run two, you can run a triple Y and have three fridges running. Just remember the output is maximum 50 amp, don't exceed the 50 amp. And again, it's Bluetooth enabled, so you don't need to have uh, a battery monitor in the front of your vehicle that's hard wired. Again, you save yourself some time there. So that's the 135. Amp power, prismatic, 14.6 down to 10 volt. They constantly stay at 12.8 plus volt right through the cycle. And you can expect around about 3,000 cycles out of these. And you expect, uh, for these guys here, they've got a three year warranty. And again, they will handle quite a bit of the corrugation. So we've had a few of these up in the gun barrel. Um, they work perfectly, perfectly well. And uh, powering up the campsite of multiple vehicles. You'll also see this one coming up in the uh, Mystery Box Challenge. It was a, it's a charity for uh, raising money for cancer. 
and that's coming up in the next couple of months. And we've got one of these uh, in um, uh, Big Lexi's vehicle, which is an, I think it's a 93 V8 Lexus, and it's got one of these with a Matson uh, in the back, pushed up against the seat, and they've got plenty of room for their fridges. So keep an eye out for that. That's Big Lexi at the Mystery Box Challenge. You'll be able to see them. Uh, uh, on our, our Facebook page. Again, nomad, uh, pdu.com, they do your contact at, and uh, we'll be able to help you out, put you in touch with the partner that's got these. And uh, any questions on them at all, we prefer that you send us an email and ask the questions rather than uh, damage the unit. So uh, talk again soon. Uh, appreciate your time and uh, see you again.